my friends, Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Last Chance Royal Rumble before the Season 5 Championship. Once again, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Christmas morning. Hope you guys got what you wanted for Christmas. And hope you're enjoying your time with your friends and your loved ones. As for me, I am making a video on Christmas morning for you guys. I don't do this Christmas thing. It's not that I don't believe in Christmas. I'm just a loner and I choose not to do the Christmas thing. No decorations, no lights, no tree. Just me and my headset and my Royal Rumbles to bring to you the gift from me to you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's um, Christmas Eve Royal Rumble. And I hope you guys are very, very excited for the last chance Royal Rumble. Who's going to level up and make it to the 30th spot in the finals of Season 5? That doesn't mean they're going to be number 30. But this just we have one more spot in the finals. And at number 1 in the last chance Rumble, starting things off, is State Puff. State Puff has been coming out a lot in these early numbers. I don't know. I mean, he does quite well in these rumbles, but number one? Ugh, that's really hard to say how he's going to do. I don't know how bad he wants to be in the finals. Um, he has won a rumble, if I remember correctly. So he knows what it's like to be in the finals. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think I am. One of these days, I will have to go back and watch all the rumbles and see how wrong and how right I am. Who will State Puff meet? Let's see. Number two is not Kofi. It's not Xavier Woods. It's King Hippo. King Hippo. King Hippo. King Hippo rocks. King Hippo rocks. That's right. Look at this. King Hippo is dancing his way to the ring. Can you believe it, guys? Our last chance rumble before tomorrow's championship rumble of season five. And then tomorrow's rumble will be the last rumble probably of the year. We probably won't start season six until uh, New Year's Day. I just have to figure out um, some things um, on how I want to do next season. As you know, this season wasn't really any themed, unfortunately, because we had problems earlier in the season. And then we had to redo it. I named it Season 6, and then I changed it back down to Season 5. But, you know, it happens. So, anyways, if there are any rumbles before the beginning of the year... They're just going to be for fun. Nothing, you know, for a championship or anything. So anyways, we're getting started here. State Puff got King Hippo down right away. What an interesting matchup for these two to begin things. These two big behemoths are perfect match for each other. Too bad this isn't the final two. But State Puff has really taken it to King Hippo. State Puff knows to go right after that taped X on King Hippo's stomach. Mumra at number three, all the way from third Middle Earth. Look at that, King Hippo tried to sneak up on State Puff, but State Puff with a nice Samoan drop. Look at these three big boys go after each other. Whoa, Mumra got pushed and then clotheslined. Mumra just got thrown across the ring by State Puff. What strength! Mumra gets up. He's touching his back. His back must be hurting him. Number four, Robin Hood. If Robin Hood wants to join his enemy Prince John in the finals, he's got a long ways to go. Speaking of the finals, my friends, did you know that in our finals so far, the 29 participants that are in the Rumble final for season five we have Lex Luthor, Ben Krupp, Goku, Sergeant Hatred, uh, Buff Mickey, uh, Thanos, Hulk, Professor Jinky, 
Barney Rubble. The Tick, Plankton, Megatron, Krang, Charlie Dumpler, Little Caesar, Randy Feltface, Charlie Brown, Free Willy, Pack, Brock Samson, Gargantor, or Gigantor, how I used to call him, uh, the Juggernaut, Prince John, Scar, Crow, Joe Dirt, Henchman 21, Woodstock, and Axel Foley. Who's going to join those 29? And during my talking of the list of the 29 participants, Shere Khan came in. And now Droopy at number 6 is coming in. What an interesting list we have of participants in the finals. And what a reversal from Momoran to Droopy. Look at that. What? Whoa, whoa. Oh, Stay Puff thought he had him. And no. Whoa. No one moves. Man, this battle of the big boys is really getting hot and heavy. There you go. Look at that. Using his boxing skills on Stay Puff and really took him down. Number seven, Bald Bull. Bald Bull won a Rumble, I think, back in season three. Mumra has won a Rumble. I want to say season three as well. Maybe season two? Uh, so like I said, someday I'll figure it out. Ball ball thrown over, but not out. Bam! 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 Rubble! And Robin Hood just throw King Hippo into ball. Ball 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 picks up. King Hippo. King Hippo slips out. And looks like Shere Khan and Robin Hood were making out, but Shere Khan was totally biting Robin Hood's nose. Side rushing leg sweep from Ball Bull onto Bam Bam. Bam Bam Rubble right back up. Bam Bam with a headbutt on a Ball Bull. And oh, he just, he, you just see that he just stunned two people with that clothesline. He was going after Shere Khan. Ball Bull kind of put his head in there, and he got stunned the same time Shere Khan got stunned. Wow, one hit. He stunned two people with one hit. Wow. Just like Kevin Owens did, the one punch onto two people. Anyway, so far, no eliminations. The eight participants that we have in the last chance rumble, we have Stay Puff, King Hippo, Mumra, Robin Hood, Shere Khan, Droopy, Ball Bull, and Barney Rubble. And King Hippo has just been eliminated by Bam Bam Rubble. King Hippo was the first to be eliminated. And he was the second person out in this rumble. The first out and the second out. <laughs> Anyways. I don't know what Droopy is doing. Uh, what are you running from, Droopy? Why are you running in a place? Did you not get your exercise before you entered this rumble? In the back there? In the locker room area? What's going on? Mumra and State Puff. Ball Bull and Shere Khan. Robin Hood and Bam Bam. Mumra and Droopy. Mumra and Bam Bam Rubble. Shere Khan and Bam Bam. Droopy and Bam Bam. DDT from Droopy on to Bam Bam. Number nine is not a perfect number, but we have a perfect cell coming out at number nine. It is true, perfect cell has never won a rumble, but he has made it to a championship. Because I believe it was last season that he was supposed to be in the last chance rumble, but somehow he never showed up. Someone else took his place. So he automatically made it to the championship. Nice running power slam from Robin Hood on Stay Puff. Stay Puff is now stunned. Mumra is now stunned. Robin Hood goes right after Droopy. Perfect Cell and Ball Bull. Ball Bull looks like he's going old school on Perfect Cell. And Shere Khan. Ooh, Bam Bam tried to get his second elimination. Couldn't do it. Did you see Droopy get up like the Undertaker? He just sat right up. Wow. Mumra thrown in the corner. Cell and Ball Bull. Ball Bull and Cell are having 
issues with each other in this rumble. Nice slam from Stay Puff onto Shere Khan. Nice big boot from Paul Bull onto Stay Puff. Bam Bam misses that hit on Droopy. And he picks up Droopy and Samoan drop onto Droopy from Bam Bam Rubble. Bam Bam goes right after a sitting duck or a sitting fox in the corner. Shere Khan in perfect cell for a second. Shere Khan and Droopy. Mumra and Cell. Mumra and State Puff. Cell and State Puff now. Bam Bam with a forearm. Ball Bull get him down his size and another forearm and knocks Ball Bull down. Droopy against the ropes. Bam Bam. Oh, had an opportunity to get rid of Shere Khan, but he focused on uh, Bam Bam Rebel. And then Perfect Cell came and eliminated Shere Khan. Robin Hood just got eliminated by Bam Bam. Bam Bam has two eliminations in this rumble, guys. Two eliminations and Cell has one. I'm trying my best to keep track of who gets eliminated and how many. Is Droopy going to get his first? No, Mumra's not ready to leave. Cell thrown in the corner, then forgotten about. Power slam from Stay Puff onto Droopy. Cell and Mumra. Short clothesline from Cell onto Mumra. Ball, Bull, and Bam Bam. What it was he trying? He missed whatever he was trying to do. Back of the neck hit. Clothesline miss from Stay Puff onto Ball, Bull. Can Cell get his second elimination? Is Mumra re ready to leave? And what is Stay Puff doing? Oh, Stay Puff cheated. He got his brass knuckles out and knocked out. Bam, bam. Thomas the Tank Engine at number 10. Bam, bam is now stunned. Perfect Cell is now stunned. Thomas goes right after Mumra. Snap suplex onto Mumra. Effective. Thomas is going after a stunned Perfect Cell. And look at this power slam from Stay Puff onto Droopy. And Bam Bam misses whatever he was trying to do. Headlock on Mumra from Thomas. Bam Bam gets picked up and running power slam from Stay Puff. Now Bam Bam is now stunned. Now Thomas is stunned thanks to that knee from Cell. Cell puts Stay Puff into the ropes. My boy Daniel Tiger at number 11. Oh, Daniel, I wish you would have gotten a later number than this, my friend. Oh, this is your last chance, Daniel, to win a Rumble. Can you do it, Daniel? Focus, Daniel. Focus, focus. Everyone is after Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger seems to have a target on him today because everyone knows that he is one of my favorites to win this Rumble. Or I would like to see Daniel Tiger win, but you know what? Since last season, Daniel Tiger, you know, he impressed me when I first brought him into these Rumbles. He was doing so well, but as of late, Daniel Tiger has not done much. I can admit that. But I still have hopes for him. One day he'll win a Rumble. And then he can go back to his neighborhood and tell all his neighbors that he won a Rumble and made it to a championship Rumble. I mean, look... Thomas has been in so many rumbles since season one. Thomas has yet to win a rumble. Ball Bull is done. Bam Bam has eliminated his third opponent. And Daniel Tiger eliminated Bam Bam Rumble. His first one to be eliminated. Can Daniel Tiger get another elimination right away? No, he just keeps forearming the back of Stay Puff. But Stay Puff keep, will not handle it anymore. Headlock from Daniel Tiger. Oh, man. Stay Puff will not go down. There he goes. Dropkick on Mumra. Nothing. But Daniel Tiger gets Mumra down. Cell and Droopy. Daniel Tiger and Stay Puff again. Stay Puff gets out of whatever Daniel is going to do. Perfect Cell and Mumra. Nice boot from Cell onto Mumra. Droopy and Cell again. Droopy thrown into the corner by Cell. Cell and Daniel Tiger. Thomas and Stay Puff. And now Stay Puff is squeezing the life out of Thomas's head. And Daniel is stunned. Daniel Tiger is in a stunned state in the corner. Cell's in trouble. No, no. Get out of that cell. Get out. Mumra just got eliminated by Droopy. Come on, Cell. 
Get out of it, Cell. Get out of it. Get oh. Stay Puff has just eliminated Perfect Cell. Oh. Henchman 21 just entered. Sorry. Henchman 24. I did it again. I told myself I wasn't going to do it. And I did it. Henchman 24 has entered. Got right into a bear hug. I can't believe I did that. I kept telling myself. It's not number 21. It's 24. It's 24. Ah, man. Just think about it. If Henchman 24 wins, he goes to the finals, and we see him in 21, I'll mess that one up big time. Number 13, Tony the Tiger. Another favorite of mine to win a Rumble. Has come close so many times in this season. But he's too early. I, I don't have any hopes for him. Honestly, I don't have any hopes for Daniel Tiger either. Um, honestly, Choke Slam, Daniel Tiger from State Puff. Droopy gets picked up and reverses from State Puff. Thomas and Daniel Tiger, Russian Lake Sweep from Thomas on to Daniel. Droopy is really showing heart here today, guys. Simba, number 14. He wants to join his Uncle Scar in the finals. He wants to be like his uncle. He wants to win a Rumble. Scar has been in three of the four finals that we've had. But Scar has only won one Rumble. Now Droopy is in a stunned state. Thomas is in trouble from Tony the Tiger. Thomas cannot get eliminated. He will not get eliminated. Tony the Tiger could not do it. Thomas goes right after a stunned Droopy. Nice move from Henchman24 onto Tony. Simba in a bear hug. Simba's getting trying to get out. Frank Drevin from the police squad is at number 15. Simba thrown out or over. Nope, not out, not out. Nice belly to belly from Daniel onto Frank. Droopy and Tony. Daniel and Thomas. Stay Puffs in trouble. Clothesline from 24 onto Daniel Tiger. Tony the Tiger saves young Daniel Tiger. Uh oh, uh oh, no, oh, Daniel. Tony got out of that one. I thought that was it. Power slam from Daniel Tiger onto Frank Drebin. Running power slam on Daniel Tiger from Stay Puff. Remember, Stay Puff was the first participant in this rumble. We have a stunned Daniel Tiger now. Will any of these eight participants in the ring currently make it to be the final two or even the final? Winner of the last chance Royal Rumble before the Season 5 Championship. Tony the Tiger is now stunned. Thanks to Henchman 24. Uh, Thomas is in trouble. Daniel Tiger and Henchman 24. Henchman 24 thrown. No. Oh, did you just see that takedown from Daniel Tiger onto Stay Puff. Thomas is in trouble. Daniel Tiger. Oh. Decides not to do anything. Okay. Thomas, you got lucky, my friend. You got really lucky. Nice big boot from Thomas on to Tony the Tiger. Daniel Tiger and... Now Thomas and Thomas. No, no, go. No. Oh, no. I thought Daniel was going to get eliminated there by Thomas. But when they cut away like this, it's really hard to see if there's going to be an elimination or not. A knee to the gut from Stay Puff on to Tony. And Tony, oh, no. Tony reverses. I thought Tony was going to get thrown out there. State Puff reverses whatever or moves out of the way of Tony the Tiger's hit. Drebin with a gorilla press slam on Tony the Tiger. Droopy trying to eliminate Henchman 24. Thomas is trying to take out a Daniel's knee. Nice takedown from Thomas onto Frank Drebin. Dre Frank Drebin is now stunned. Close line on to Simba. Simba gets right back up. Daniel Tiger's in trouble. Daniel Tiger uses that paw and slaps the State Puff Marshmallow Man. We have Simba and Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger is now stunned. Frank Drebin and young Simba. Nice move from Droopy off the second rope. Henchman 24 and Daniel Tiger. Can Daniel Tiger get his second elimination? Daniel Tiger picks him up with a Gorilla Press Slam, and Henchman 24 is eliminated. Daniel has two eliminations in this Rumble. Sidewalk Slam, perhaps? No. 
Drebin gets out of it. Frank Drebin got out of that move really easily. Daniel just got out of two moves. Ooh, but just taken down with one hand by State Puff. Daniel Tiger gets right back up and knocks State Puff right down. Thomas and Daniel, Tony and Simba, Droopy and Frank Drebin. Droopy thrown over and no, not eliminated. Snap suplex from Thomas on to Frank Drebin. Droopy gets back in. Droopy thrown in the corner by Thomas. And Droopy lifted up and not out. Simba and Daniel Tiger now. What a last chance Royal Rumble we're having here, my friends, on this Christmas day. Hagrid at number 16. Wow, we're only at number 16? Wow, we're halfway through this rumble. I thought we were a lot further than this. But wow, okay, we're only at number 16. I'll take it. Frank Drebin is now stunned. Hagrid tried to eliminate Thomas, but missed. And now Hagrid is now stunned thanks to Droopy. Can Droopy eliminate Thomas? Turn around, Droopy, turn around. Simba and Daniel Tiger, or sorry, Simba and Tony the Tiger. Droopy and Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger's down. Tony the Tiger is down and stunned. Simba and Droopy. Three eliminations from Daniel Tiger. Three eliminations. And Frank Drebin is done. Is Daniel Tiger going to be done? No. No. Don't do this. No. Oh. It took two people to eliminate Daniel Tiger. Daniel Tiger's dream of being in the championship of season five is over <sighs> we'll see you next season Daniel you did very well this season Daniel kudos to you applause face buster from Thomas on Hagrid then an elbow to the back Tony the Tiger is stunned yet again this time by Droopy Thomas and Droopy Thomas can't get Droopy down now he does Simba and Stay Puff. Stay Puff misses a dropkick on Simba. Hagrid and Thomas. Ripcourt clothesline from Thomas on Hagrid. <laughs> Number 17, Dr. Evil. One million dollars is he's going to get if he wins this rumble. <laughs> Remember, he may have to use his Preparation H, perhaps? And Droopy just got eliminated by Hagrid. Chokeslam from State Puff onto Simba. Tony the Tiger slowly getting up. Paul the Alien at number 18. Tony the Tiger has just been eliminated by State Puff. And Thomas is about to, ooh. If Paul was not there at that time, I think Thomas would have been eliminated by State Puff. Honestly. Tony, 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 I'm sorry. <sighs> was not your great year. This was not a great season for you, Tony. We'll see you in season six for sure. Paul and Thomas. Paul takes Thomas down right away. DDT from Dr. Evil on the State Puff. Now Dr. Evil goes right after the young Simba. Number 19, Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone wants to win a Rumble bad. He has made it to the final two so many times in this season. Last time we saw Fred, he had some issues. Tell you what, you know. All of a sudden, almost trying to get eliminated, but then he got hit to where he couldn't get eliminated. Then all of a sudden, he just started walking in place in the corner. And then all of a sudden, he just got vanished. Did he really get eliminated from that rumble? We don't know, because he just vanished in thin air. Used some kind of weird magic or something. Power slam from Stay Puff to stun Fred. Thomas is stunned. Snoopy the dog has just entered. Snoopy would love to enter the rumble final with his master Charlie Brown and his good friend Woodstock. 
being at this late number, it could be a good sign for him. I'd like to see Dr. Evil win. Honestly, that would be pretty cool. And Thomas has just eliminated Hagrid. Fred just eliminated State Puff. State Puff was number one, remember. State Puff has finally been eliminated. Dr. Evil gets Fred down. Belly to belly from Thomas onto Snoopy. Fred and Dr. Evil. Thomas and Dr. Evil. Snoopy and Fred. Simba knocks Fred down. Paul and Thomas. Simba and Snoopy. All the way slam from Simba onto Snoopy. Snoopy gets right back up. We have a stunned Dr. Evil. Snoopy thrown in the corner by Simba. Simba drop kicks Fred. Just kind of gives him a little daze there for a second. Sidewalk, no, backbreaker from Simba. Now he's holding that back. Really doing some damage. Dr. Evil. Low blow on Thomas. Thomas is hurting. Thomas is stunned. Ooh, those low blows come out of nowhere, I tell ya. Number 21, Beaker. Not a bad number for you, Beaker. Finally, not an early number. Usually, Beaker gets, like, one of the earlier numbers. And Beaker is one of the lowest-ranked um, guys we have on our roster. So, let's see how well Beaker can do. As we know, Beaker has done okay in these rumbles, but not fabulous. I mean, out of everybody we have seen in this rumble, they've all had their moments. And then the winners of the past rumbles of the season have had their major moments by winning Royal Rumbles. Pim, number 22. Smiling friends. Pim is here. Takes Thomas down right away. And Dr. Evil is done. Yes, Simba eliminates him. Ooh, Beaker almost eliminated Simba. But Dr. Evil is done. Dr. Evil will not be getting his one million dollars. And Paul just eliminated Simba. Simba will not be joining his uncle in the finals. Not this season, at least. Pim puts Fred against the ropes. Paul gets out of Thomas's move. Take down from Paul onto Snoopy. Beaker and Paul. Paul with a knee to Beaker. Pim thrown, but nowhere, going nowhere. Fisherman suplex from Paul onto Pim. But Pim right back up. Well, kind of right back up. He got back. Whoa. Nice leg draw from Snoopy onto Beaker. Nice hair Karana from Snoopy onto Pim. DDT from Snoopy onto Fred. Snoopy wants to win this. Throws Paul. Paul reverses. My boy, Bullwinkle at number 23. Great number, Bullwinkle, great number indeed. Remember, Bullwinkle, you were number, what, three or seven at that one time that you came in and you won the Rumble. I think you were number, I think you were number three. Yes, Bullwinkle is number three and he won the Rumble last season. He made it to the championship Rumble, but blew it big time. Fred is now stunned thanks to Beaker. Bullwinkle's right after Pim. Here comes our special Christmas Eve. Christmas Rumble winner, the conductor. Very late number. This is very, very bad for them. We saw how well the conductor did in last night's special Christmas Eve Royal Rumble. And all of his eliminations and how long he was in. And he was in for a long time. And he just reversed Bullwinkle. Paul is stunned. Beaker down. Paul gets picked up by Snoopy. Bullwinkle is going to have his problems with the conductor. I can see it now. Paul thrown by the conductor. Conductor does nothing. Conductor goes right after Fred. Throws Fred over and... Oh, whew. he did not eliminate Fred. Nice RKO from Paul onto him. Paul and Thomas... Thomas has been in for some time. Congratulations to you on that, Thomas. Gorilla Press Slam from Fred on a Bullwinkle. 
Thomas and Snoopy, a comic drop from Thomas onto Snoopy, and Snoopy is now stunned. Fred and Beaker, Thomas and Bullwinkle. Power slam from Thomas onto Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle gets right back up, goes right after Fred, throws Fred into the conductor. Drop kicks Fred, but misses. Conductor, suplex Fred. Bullwinkle and Beaker, Pim thrown in the corner. The conductor is going right after Pim. Ooh, knees him, knees him, knees him, knees him. And now he's crushing his head. And he pushes him on the ground. This conductor is an evil person. Snoopy has an opportunity here to eliminate Paul. Is Paul done? Paul is done. Snoopy has just eliminated Paul. Paul the alien is done. Better hold your breath, Paul, and vanish. Fred thrown over, but Snoopy prevents Beaker from trying to eliminate him. Thomas and the conductor. Thomas with a power slam on the conductor. Bullwinkle takes Thomas's knee out. Frog splash missed by Bullwinkle. The conductor and Pim now. Come on, Pim. Do it. Do it, Pim. Do it. No, Pim. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to throw him over the rope. Or kick him over the rope. DDT from Thomas on to Snoopy. Pim and Beaker. Pim and Bullwinkle. Beaker and Thomas. Snoopy misses an elbow drop. Beaker and Snoopy. Fred and Bullwinkle. DDT from Bullwinkle onto Fred, but Fred right back up. And Snoopy just eliminated Beaker. Another DDT. No. I thought it was going to be another DDT. But no. Snoopy reversed it. Soda Pop Binsky at number 25. Ooh. Getting some big boys in now. The conductor is in a stunned state. Was the conductor ever in a stunned state in the special Christmas Eve Royal Rumble last night? I don't remember, but Thomas is now stunned. Nice body slam from Bullwinkle into Soda Popinski. Now Bullwinkle goes right after Snoopy with a side Russian leg sweep. Fred and Bullwinkle. DDT from Bullwinkle onto Fred. The conductor and Soda Popinski. Soda Popinski thrown over and not out. Him thrown in the corner by Fred. Then Fred shoulder tackles him right in the corner. Oh, nice backbreaker from the conductor on the Bullwinkle. DDT from the conductor on the Thomas. Tom Servo. And number 26, he would love to join his friend from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Crow T. Robot in the finals. With this late number, he probably could. No, Fred, no, do not eliminate Bullwinkle. Do not eliminate Bullwinkle. Come on, Bullwinkle, hold on. Soda Popinski has a chance to eliminate Snoopy. Bullwinkle is safe, and Snoopy has just been eliminated by Soda Popinski. Body slam from the conductor onto S to Crow, or I'm sorry, Tom Servo. Um, Bullwinkle is now stunned. Grill press slam on the conductor from Fred. Fred and Thomas. And a big boot onto Fred to knock Fred down, but Fred was already in a stunned state. Thomas throws the conductor into the corner. Him in the corner. Bullwinkle is going to try to take advantage here. Does Bullwinkle have the strength to get rid of the conductor? I don't think he does. Nope, he doesn't. Tom Servo and Pim. Conductor goes right after Fred's legs. Now Pim and the conductor. Oh, Bullwinkle. Oh, Pim just got eliminated by the conductor. Oh, Pim. Backbreaker from the conductor onto Tom Servo. Nice basement drop kick from Bullwinkle onto Soda Popinski. Missed clothesline from Bullwinkle. DDT from Thomas onto the conductor. Soda Popinski and Thomas. Mojo Jojo at number 27. Thomas has finally been eliminated. Soda Popinski's up. No, did not get eliminated. Oh my gosh, we have no, I don't think we have ever seen Mojo Jojo come as a late number like this. He always comes really early in the Rumbles. Does Mojo Jojo have a chance to win a Rumble? Or has he won a Rumble? Has Mojo Jojo won a Rumble? I think Mojo Jojo has won a Rumble, but it didn't record right. So that's why I think some of these people... The conductor has been eliminated! Tom Servo eliminated the conductor! That's why I, I question myself sometimes on if someone's won a rumble or not. Because sometimes recordings 
don't happen right and I see who wins but then you guys won't see because it was never recorded Piranha Plant number 28 the conductor had a chance to win this rumble today you know two rumbles in a row but nope he got eliminated the conductor is done thanks to Tom Servo whoa Nice move, Fred. DDT from Bowling Club Minnesota, Popinski. The Monarch at number 29. Monarch has won two Rumbles, has been in two championships. Ooh, this is a late number for him. Fred showing off his caveman strength. Wheelbarrow into a DDT from Tom Servo on to Bowling Club. Fred and Tom Servo, Piranha Plant and Bowling Club. Monarch and Fred. DDT Monarch on the Fred. Here comes number 30. We're going to be down to our final eight. One of these final eight, whoever this 30th participant is. It's Kermit the Frog! Kermit the Frog! Piranha Plant could be in trouble. Kermit the Frog at number 30. Mojo Jojo just got eliminated. I was going to say we're down to our final eight. Now we're down to our final seven. Mojo Jojo came in so late. We got eliminated pretty fast. Oh, wow. Kermit the Frog has won a Rumble last season. Bullwinkle won a Rumble last season. Tom Servo has not won one. Soda Popinski has not won one. Monarch has won two Rumbles. Fred has never won a Rumble. And Piranha Plant has never won a Rumble. So this will be quite interesting. This is an interesting Final Seven. One of these Final Seven will be in that 30th spot in the Rumble of the Championship of Season 5. Like I said, not necessarily. They may not be number 30. They could be number 1, number 7, number 12. And Kermit... Oh, shh. I was like, Kermit just came in. I thought he got eliminated. Oh, wow. Suplex from Monarch, perhaps? No. Bullwinkle gets out of that. Clotheslines Monarch. Prana Plant takes Bullwinkle down by the ankle. Kermit and Tom Servo... Monarch misses. Fred's going to take advantage of the Monarch's miss. And now the Monarch is now stunned. Kermit. Ooh. He's going to feel that in the morning in his ribs. For sure. Oh. Nice uppercut from Soda Popinski to stun Kermit. DDT from Bullwinkle on to Soda Popinski. But Soda Popinski right back up. Bullwinkle's like, what the heck? Oh, he was going to go for another DDT, but Tom Servo kind of interfered there. Another uppercut. This time on Fred Flintstone. And... He stuns him. Now a Superman punch on the Monarch. Picks up the Monarch. And puts Monarch in the corner. Monarch with a reverse elbow. DDT from Tom Servo onto Kermit the Frog. Piranha Plant is now stunned. Everyone is getting stunned here. Soda Popinski throws the Monarch in the corner. What has Kermit got planned here? Nothing. He gets sidetracked and he was being played possum by Tom Servo Bullwinkle has opportunity to lift up Kermit he does is this it for Kermit the number 30th participant is he going to be eliminated right away by Bullwinkle no can you believe it guys our final seven one of these seven will be in the season five championship tomorrow I'm just happy that it wasn't the conductor. The conductor kind of irritated me there in um, the special Christmas Eve Royal Rumble. And Kermit has just... Oh, my God. I thought Kermit eliminated Bullwinkle. Oh, heart stop, heart stop, heart stop. Indeed, DDT from Bullwinkle onto Kermit. Oh, will Fred win this Rumble? Will Fred meet his neighbor and good friend Barney Rubble in the finals? He throws Bullwinkle into the corner. Bullwinkle with the back elbow onto Fred. Throws Fred down. Monarch is in trouble. Oh, no. Monarch is not in trouble. Oh, Bullwinkle misses a kick. Super kick onto Kermit. Oh, beautiful, Kermit. Beautiful indeed. High knee from the Monarch on Soda Popinski. He really had to jump up to get to that face. Forearm on Soda Popinski from the Monarch. Wow. Tom Servo really taking it to the Monarch now. DDT, Monarch is down. Piranha Plant is down. 
Nice reversal from Kermit the Frog on Tom Servo. Soda Popinski and Kermit the Frog. Kermit thrown in the corner. Tom Servo. Oh, who did Bullwinkle just eliminate? He just eliminated Fred Flintstone. I wasn't even paying attention. Wow, Fred is done. We are down to our final six. Fred is very disappointed. He's come so close so many times in this season. <sighs> Better luck next season, Fred. Snap suplex from the Monarch on to the Piranha Plant. I wouldn't be surprised if the Monarch wins this third Rumble. Because, I mean, we already have three people from the Adventure Bros in the final, so why not four of them? I mean, Monarch has won three previous Rumbles. Piranha Plant is just now getting out of a stunned state here. Bullwinkle and Kermit, why don't you two leave each other alone? Poke to the eyes from Kermit onto Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle thrown into the corner. Bullwinkle is stunned in the corner. That's not good for Bullwinkle. That is not good if someone pays attention to a stunned Bullwinkle. Tom Servo lifted up by Soda Popinski. Can Soda Pop, he does, turns him over and Tom Servo is done. We are down to our final five. Our final five. My friends of YouTube, one of these five will go to the Season 5 Championship. Monarch thrown over. Kermit and Bullwinkle, they really do not like each other. What a miss from Soda Popinski. Bullwinkle misses as well. So our final five is Kermit the Frog, Bullwinkle, Soda Popinski, the Monarch, and the Piranha Plant. Belly to belly from Piranha Plant onto the Monarch. Neckbreaker from Kermit the Frog on Piranha Plant. Bullwinkle is getting out of a submission from Soda Popinski. That might have done some damage to his arm. Piranha Plant into the ropes. Can the Monarch eliminate the Piranha Plant? Is this it for the Piranha Plant? Soda Popinski going to help? No. Soda Popinski goes right after Bullwinkle. Russian leg sweep from Soda Popinski onto Bullwinkle. And now some hits to the face. Nice standing drop kick there by Kermit the Frog on Soda Popinski. Now he goes right after Bullwinkle yet again. Russian leg sweep from Monarch onto the Piranha Plant. Uh oh, uh oh. Kermit's going to get a. Oh, no! <laughs> Monarch with a low blow to save Kermit's life. But the Monarch decides to go right after Kermit. Kermit owes the Monarch his life. I think he was about to go get eliminated, but the Monarch came and snuck behind and low blowed Soda Popinski into a stunned state. Drop kick from Monarch onto Bullwinkle. I don't know what the Monarch was trying to do there. Monarch with a knee to the gut onto Soda Popinski. Monarch and Kermit the Frog. Bullwinkle with the DDT on Piranha Plant. Monarch trying to take out Kermit's leg. DDT from Bullwinkle onto Monarch. Monarch is slowly getting up. Kermit slowly got up. And Bullwinkle got out of that suplex attempt into a neck breaker. And Soda Popinski thrown out by Kermit the Frog. Our final four. Our final four of season five. Last chance rumble are as follows. Kermit the Frog, Bullwinkle, the Monarch, and Piranha Plant. Who do you guys got? Who do you guys want to win on this Christmas Day? Oh, Monarch safe. Wow. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Snap suplex. No, small package suplex. From the Monarch onto Kermit. Piranha Plant is now stunned. Monarch and Kermit. Kermit thrown in the corner by the Monarch. Is this it for Kermit? Is Bullwinkle going to try and save Kermit? I think Kermit's about to be eliminated. Yep. Monarch has just eliminated Kermit. We're down to our final three. Piranha Plant, the Monarch, and my boy Bullwinkle. Kick to the kidneys from Bullwinkle onto Monarch. Another kick to the kidneys. And now the Monarch is now stunned. Clothesline from behind from Piranha Plant onto Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle doesn't know what to do. Bullwinkle slowly getting up. Piranha Plant takes out Bullwinkle's arm. He's now going to work on that arm and hyper-extend it. 
Monarch is now getting out of his stunned state. Piranha Plant tries to take advantage of it. Reversal from Piranha Plant onto Monarch. Bullwinkle under the ropes, taking it easy for a few minutes. Reversal from the Monarch onto Piranha Plant. Look at those kicks and hits. Nice super kick from the Monarch. Nice kick from Bullwinkle onto the Monarch. Bullwinkle pick up. Pick up Piranha Plant. Pick him up. Don't go after his arm. Pick him up. One more hit and he is stunned. One more hit and he's stunned. Oh, maybe not. One more hit. Here we go. Come on. Okay, now pick up a stunned him. Pick him up. What are you doing? Close lines. The Monarch. Standing shooting star press from Bullwinkle onto the Monarch. I would have taken my opportunity to eliminate a stunned piranha plant that's going to cost you bullwinkle if you lose this match is because you did not go after a stunned opponent ddt from bullwinkle on the monarch piranha plant and bullwinkle told you bullwinkle told you yep bullwinkle's done and he got eliminated i knew it oh my god is the monarch going to win is Piranha Plant going to win? All right. Monarch has won, what, three? Two or three Rumbles. I want to... I think he's won three Rumbles. Since he's debuted. Maybe two. No, I think he's only won two. Has he been in the last two finals? Nice drop kick to stun him. I, I honestly... I don't remember, guys. Um, let's see here. Uh, Monarch, Monarch has just won the Rumble. Wow, I wasn't paying attention, but the Monarch is making it to the finals. He'll be joining three fellow people from his show, the Adventure Bros. Once again, guys, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this last chance rumble. The Monarch leveled himself up into the finals. Probably for the... Th As of right now, I want to say the third time. I will look back and I will give you an update. If I remember in the finals tomorrow how many um, championship rumbles the Monarch has been in. But until then, enjoy your Christmas day, guys. Enjoy your day off. Enjoy whatever you're doing this afternoon, this morning, whatever time you're watching this. I hope you have a good one. Until I get to talk to you guys in the Season 5 Championship tomorrow, I am out of here. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Merry Christmas again.